exams. Wish you all the best regarding your grades. And now let's find out more about the rest of your lessons. Let's start with lesson 12, target vocabulary. As usual, I'll start by reading the words and I hope that you will read the words after me. Rebellious, objective, benefit, repeal, contrary, midst, temporary, advantages, previously, prohibit. I will read the words one more time. Rebellious, objected, benefit, repeal, contrary, midst, temporary, advantages, previously, and prohibit. Let's start with the first word, rebellious. What is the meaning of the word rebellious? If someone is rebellious, he is acting against the authorities. He is acting against the government or against the rules. So, to be rebellious is to act against the rules or the government. Let's read the word in the context. In April 1775, who fired first at Lexington? A rebellious patriot or a royal British soldier? So, who fired first? Someone who is against the rules or a loyal British soldier. Next word, objected. What is the meaning of the word objected? Objected means showed disagreement of something. So to object is to show your disagreement or to disagree with something. Let's read the example. Colonists objected to the Stamp Act of 1765, protesting that it's taxes were unfair so the colonists they they showed their disagreement to the stamp act which is an amount of money or taxes they should have paid so to object is to show your disagreement or to disagree with something great let's move to the next word benefit a benefit is something that is helpful and useful Let's read the example. Sam Adams argued that it would be a help or benefit to be independent. So, Sam Adams believes that being independent is a benefit or it is something that is helpful or useful. Next word, repeal. To repeal is to formally cancel something. To cancel something formally or officially. Let's read the example. In 1766, Parliament voted to repeal the Hated Stamp Act. The act was withdrawn. So the Parliament the, voted to cancel or to officially cancel the Stamp Act or the taxes. So they were cancelled or withdrawn. Contrary. What is the meaning of the word contrary? Someone or something that is opposite to something else. So when someone is contrary or when something is contrary, it means that it's opposite to something else. Let's read the example. Willful, contrary patriots refused to obey British laws. Troops were sent to enforce the laws. Stubborn or brave and contrary patriots these contrary people that who are opposite to the government, they refuse to obey British laws and that's why the troops or more soldiers were sent to enforce the laws. Midist, what is the meaning of the word midist? It means in the middle of something. Let's read the example. In the Boston Massacre of 1770, Five colonists died in the midst or middle of a riot. What does it mean? It means that in the Boston Massacre, five colonists died. They died in the middle of the riot. Great. Next word, temporary. What does it mean? It means needed for a short period of time. So when something is Temporary, it means that it's needed only for a short period of time. Let's read the example. For the Boston Tea Party, patriots wore temporary disguises, then removed them. They wore or they put temporary masks or 
masks that were needed only for a short time. They were not permanent, they were temporary. Great. Advantages. What are the advantages? They are the skills that favor you or the qualities that make you better. Things or skills that make you better and favor you. Let's read the example. More soldiers and guns were the British Army's advantages or superior qualities. So having more soldiers and having much more guns, these two skills or these two qualities were the British Army's advantages. They were the things or the qualities that made the British Army better than the American Army. Great, so advantages are the skills or the qualities that make you better and favor you. Previously, it means before something else. So many men, previously peaceful farmers, became patriot soldiers during the revolution. So many men that they were before just peaceful farmers, they became patriot soldiers. They became brave soldiers during the American Revolution. Great. Prohibit. To prohibit is to ban or to prevent something from happening. Let's read the example. The Declaration of Independence sought to prohibit or forbid political tyranny. So, the Declaration of Independence, the independence of or the document of America's independence, what does it seek to? It seeks to prohibit or to prevent the political tyranny or the unfairness or the unfair rules. That's it for today. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Inshallah.